hey everybody and today my video is going to be on my new budget pier which I built myself some of you have may have seen that on Instagram or um, Facebook but I thought I'd also do a tour of my equipment as well so before we take a look at the pier and my equipment why did I build a pier well it's summer, as you can see, we've got quite a lot of sunshine and the nights are short and everybody needs a project to keep themselves busy. I found the idea on Stargazers Lounge and um, I think the original poster was somebody called Matt Goo. So if you're out there, cheers Matt Goo, because your thread was very, very helpful. Um, I tweaked it a little bit to suit my own needs and my dad is a builder, so I like to in think of that I've inherited some of his building ability. And I thought, do you know what? I'm going to give it a go. I'm not going to shy away from this, and I'm just going to build it. So, without further ado, let's go take a look at the pier. Okay, so this is my garden. The dog has disappeared. Oh, there she is. Hey, Luna. Who's a good girl? <laughs> yeah. So, a few people might have seen this online that I've actually built a budget pier. And this is to kind of make things easy for me when setting up. Now, at the time, I didn't realise, but I might actually have to have an, a knee operation. It's a possibility. Um, and this will make things a hell of a lot easier for me so I don't have to keep carrying tripods and whatever outside. So, let's go down to the base. It's basically two hollow concrete blocks glued together in the middle just see some remnants of the glue and also bolted together someone's got the zoomies and then bolted to a big concrete pad in the bottom now the hole that I dug was 40 by 40 by 40 now some people are saying oh that's not deep enough or whatever which, if I was keeping my mount on this permanently, I'd be inclined to agree. But this is mainly for stability and to make things easier for me. So, I'll, generally, I'll be taking things on and off. It's also painted with masonry paint. To keep it looking nice. And there's my little astronaut. And we connect the mount to the pier by means of this anodized um, pier adapter. Now I got this from Altair Astro. Um, I think it's the most expensive part of the pier itself. This cost £80. I've had a lot of people ask me about it. It's very beautifully machined and it's got different holes where you can put different azimuth pins for your the different mounts so that hole there is m10 and it's actually that's the one that fits the heq5 um, and there's different holes for different mounts such as ioptron and celestron and you can actually i think turn it over as well and you get some different fitments on the other side but as i've attached it already um, you're not going to be able to see those i also added a piece of M10 threaded bar and that fits my HEQ5 sort of as the centre bolt and I tighten this up by means of a wing nut. As for the fastenings themselves it's all tilt adjustable via these nuts and these were are called M6 to M8 anchor bolts and they're fixed in with 
something called anchor set, which is probably stronger than concrete, to be honest. A lot of people have asked me how stable this thing is, and I'm hanging off it right now, and it's not moving. So I'm quite happy with how stable it is. Luna. <laughs> she doesn't care about Astro. So, what I'll do now is get all my equipment on there and I'll show you what it's like when it's fully loaded. Come on then Luna, lead the way. <laughs> so, here is the budget mount, fully loaded. No cables because they're just cables. So while we're here, I'll tell you a bit about my equipment. So I've got the HEQ5 Pro and I also had it belt modded by Rother when I bought it. And we've got the Polemaster camera, which before I used it, um, I used to use sharp cap a lot, but I've actually got better results with the pole master. Then we've got my amazing Altair 72 EDF Deluxe Scope um, with rack and pinion focuser and that is my favourite bit there. It's actually a camera rotator, it makes things a lot easy here for me. I've got a 60mm guide scope and an Altair Lightwave 0.8 reducer and some spacers because you need 55mm from the back of the reducer to the focal plane of your, well, the sensor of your camera. And then I've got the Altair Hypercam 183C ProTech. Which has got an inbuilt USB hub, which is very helpful. And for my guide camera, I'm using, you can't see, it's a GP Cam, another Altair product, GP Cam 3 290C. Somebody yesterday was like, oh, it's not balanced, but it actually is. If I unlock the deck clutch, perfectly balanced. And if I lock, unlock the RA clutch. Perfectly balanced. And somebody asked me how stable everything felt. No movement there. Apart from maybe I haven't tightened yet. Yeah, there we go. All in all, I'm really happy that this is now going to make my life a little bit easier. The total cost for the pier, um, for materials 
and including the peer adapter came to about £150. There are already raid peers out there that you can buy but um, I decided that I wanted to give this a go and plus it's got inbuilt shelves. Is that what you think of Astro Luna? <laughs> And the weather doesn't look great. Well, it's sunny, but lots of clouds. So I may try and get some solar done, but we shall see. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.